Cliff told us that he has a secret surprise for us. He drives us in the truck to a rural small airport. Not exactly what I would find as some secret location where you'd expect Bigfoot to be. Haha, <laughs> nice, Yeah. Clint. Nothing but the best for you guys. We deserve it. Oh, wow. This is going to be the best way to get the lay of the land possible. Cliff is brilliant. We're going to get up in that chopper and head down to this secret location Cliff has been telling us about. How cool would that be if we saw a squatch from up here? Here's the Columbia, guys. Uh, Mount Hood looks pretty spectacular. Oh, look at that! Brad! The entire area south of the Columbia River Gorge for many miles is basically wilderness area. This area is impossible to get into in any way except by air. It's really hard to understand how inaccessible and frankly dangerous this terrain is until you get nice and close and personal with it like we are here in the helicopter. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. You know, it's been a while since I've had a nice cold sweat like this. <laughs> Our helicopter pilot is amazing. He's taking us right up against these cliff walls within 50 feet so I can see the moss and the lichen and all the crevices. Wow, we're getting close. <laughs> and as we're going up and down and shifting from left to right, both Matt and Monkey are starting to look a little green. Finally found a way to quiet down the running and just over the helicopter. <laughs> You're kryptonite, Matt. You're kryptonite. Not that I don't love every minute of this, but how much longer are we doing this roller coaster ride? Right below, as you can see, Hood River. It flows down from Parkdale. Now, if we go up a little bit to the east of there is our destination. That's the spot that I think is going to have the highest concentration of deer and elk and hopefully Sasquatches as well. We just crested the top of the ridge, and I mean, this is our area of focus. Check out down below for any animals and any nooks and crannies you think Sasquatches want to be hanging out in. Right there, dude. Elk and deer in the same meadow. Look at that. You picked the perfect spot, Cliff. Yeah, this is excellent, Cliff. Okay, Jeff, this is the area we want to focus on, so take us down wherever you need safe. You got it. The helicopter touched down, but that's not the end of our trip. The team and I have to walk over the saddle and down into the adjacent valley. Luckily, we have a little bit of sunlight left. But after that, we have to set up quick because dark is coming. Yeah. There goes our ride. This is ideal habitat. In tonight's plan, we want to get one of the teams low down on the valley floor. That'll be myself and Matt, while Cliff and Bobo stay up on one of these higher trails. We're going to make calls back and forth, and hopefully, we'll get a response from a Bigfoot. This is elevation. This is ruggedness. Seriously, don't you wish you had an electric golf cart here? <laughs> Matt, you sound really lazy right now. <laughs> uh, two o'clock, Bobo, up in the hill. I'm looking up there. I thought it was a rock. It might be a rock, but can't tell. Very not. God, it is bright. It's got to be an animal. It's a lot brighter than anything else yeah. out there, man. Is it moving? No. Let's get closer. Oh, oh, oh. No, you know what? That's a deer. Is there two deer? Maybe. That thing on the right, you mean? Yeah. Oh, dude. I need glasses. Still looks blurry to me. If they're blurry, maybe they're Bigfoots then. <laughs> <laughs> no, but those are deer, I promise you. I can All tell. Right. So it's a good sign. Yeah. It's definitely getting windy and cold. Mm -hmm. Well, let me look down this straight away. <gasps> right there is a huge elk. There's a herd of them, like 100 feet away. They're just standing there checking us out. Oh, hey. Hey, elk. Cliff, you copy? 
Whoa. Here's money. I got you, Matt. What's up? We just stumbled upon a herd of elk. OK, cool. Yeah, we've got our eyes on some deer right now. So at least we know the prey species are here. Let's hope the big guys are too. What's the matter, Monk? She's whimpering. What? Whoa. What, did you hear that? A knock. I don't sound like a big old thump or a clunk or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I did hear that. That was up that direction. Matt, did you hear a big old thump or clunk or knock or something like that just like maybe 20 seconds ago? Nope, we didn't. OK, we just did. As far as I can tell, I think it's more or less right above where you guys are. If you guys didn't hear it, I don't know what to tell you, but there's something around. Bubba wants to do a howl up that direction. 10-4. That was pretty quiet. Everything's quiet. Not the wind. If he did it, we're not hearing him. Hey, we got a break in the wind. Hey, we have a brief little break in the wind. I'm going to howl. Go for it. <gasps> What's the plan of attack? Do we just wait it out and hope it does it again? I hate this. It's a kind of a love-hate relationship, though, you got to admit. Totally. It's like mad. <laughs> Whatever that sound was, was up that way in the road. It goes underneath it, so I guess we should just try to get underneath it. Sure. All right, let's do her. What? You said you wanted to come. Don't complain now. I told you it was going to rain. This is unusual. This is the dry side of Oregon. Dude, this is getting ridiculous. Look at that rain band coming right at us. You see that? There is no worse job to have than a weatherman in Oregon. You just simply cannot predict what the weather is going to be like in two hours from now. And this time of year, it's even worse. Yep, here it comes. Heavy storms can roll in in less than an hour and disappear two hours later. And right now, we've got the worst of it. I was so stoked because it's like, we're going to the dry side of the map area. <laughs> Curse of the Sasquatch. I got to admit, I'm more than a little bummed. I've wanted to come here for so long, and for whatever reason, Mother Nature got in our way. This storm is shutting everything down, including the animal activity. I hope you didn't lose that chopper pilot's number.